Welcome to this demonstration video on Understanding the California Educator Reporting System, or SERS, sponsored by the California Department of Education. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to use SERS to access assessment results data for both the California Assessment of Student Performance and Progress, or CASP, and the English Language Proficiency Assessments for California, or LPAC. SERS is a one-stop shop for educators and administrators to access timely test results data for individual students and groups of students for the CASP and LPAC. That includes results from CASP summative assessments, Smarter Balanced Interim Assessments, and the Summative LPAC. By default, test results data is available in SERS based on the user's role in the Test Operations Management System, or TOMS. For example, Local Educational Agency, or LEA CASP coordinators, or LEA LPAC coordinators, may access results for all students in the LEA or district. Site coordinators may access results for all students in the school site, and teachers may have permission to access reports for students in any student groups assigned to them by LEA or site coordinators. Once they have access, teachers may then create customized groups based on their assigned students. We will be using the SERS Sandbox training tool throughout this video, which mimics the reporting system with simulated test results data. There is simulated data in the sandbox for all of the assessments that are included in the live SERS environment. You can access the SERS Sandbox and find other SERS resources like the full SERS user guide by going to casp.org or lpac.org and selecting the California Educator Reporting System button then selecting the SERS Sandbox Training Tool button. When you open the SERS Sandbox, you will be prompted to choose a role. For most of this video, we will be accessing the Sandbox as a teacher at a sample high school. Note that in the live SERS environment, the user will not select a role. As previously mentioned, the level of access in SERS is based on the user's assigned role in TOMS. Let's jump into accessing some of the major features of SERS from the homepage. From there, you can access the user guide, which provides instructions for using SERS, and the interpretive guide, which helps users interpret smarter balanced results. You can also access saved reports with the My Reports tab. From the homepage, you can access assessment results in two ways. You can search for individual results with the Search by Student feature, or you can use the Groups tabs to find results for groups of students. To search by student, enter the student's Statewide Student Identifier, or SSID, and select Search. To search by student group, select a group of students in the Assigned Groups tab. Educators can make custom groups under the My Groups tab by selecting the Create button and selecting students in the list or by entering the student's name or SSID. You can name the custom group and also select which assessments you want to include for that group. Administrators at the site or LEA level will have access to additional features that appear on the home page. If logging on to the SERS Sandbox as a school administrator, Users will notice buttons at the top of the homepage to access custom aggregate reports, district or school exports, and student groups. If logging on as a district administrator, note that the homepage will have an extra button for instructional resources. This feature allows district administrators to upload instructional resources in the system directly from the homepage. Let's move on to discover how results appear. From the home page, let's search for an individual student in the SERS sandbox. We'll use the fictitious student account with the SSID 5000007163 and enter that into the search bar on the home page. Keep in mind that all data in the SERS sandbox is simulated and all students are fictitious. 
When you search for a student or select an individual student from a group, you will find the student's student test history report with cards organized by assessment. You can filter the results by school year, subject, assessment type, and more with advanced filters. When you select an assessment, more information will appear. For interim assessments, you can select the date and find the student's list of responses. Item level data is not available for summative assessments. From the individual student's page, data can be exported into a CSV file or downloaded as a printable report. When creating a report, different filters can be selected to generate a custom report for the student. After selecting the Create Report button, you will be taken to the My Reports page where you can select the name to download the report data, view or save the report query, or delete the report. Now let's go back to the home page and view results by group. Let's select the Sample High School Grade 11 group from the home page. By default, the group results will show the most recent assessment. To select other assessments, select the plus button or the Select Assessments button. Fictitious students in the SIR sandbox have results from multiple assessments that may not be reflective of a typical student. For demonstration purposes, we're going to select a few different grade 11 assessments, including the California Alternate Assessment, or CAA Math Summative, the English Language Arts and Literacy, or ELA Interim Comprehensive Assessment, or ICA, the ELA Summative, the LPAC Summative, the California Science Test, or CAST Summative, the California Spanish Assessment, or CSA Summative, and the ELA Performance Task Interim Assessment Block, or IAB. When accessing a group of students, the results panel for each assessment will display a lot of information, including, most notably, a student scale score distribution and a roster of the students who took the assessment. From the roster, individual students can be selected to access the student's individual test history or print a summative report. In addition to the scale scores and rosters, different assessments will have different data available. For the Smarter Balanced Interim Comprehensive Assessments, you can select specific sessions of administration and the data will update as you add or remove sessions. Claim data can be selected for visualizations of claims below, near, or above standard. For the interim assessments, item level data can be found by selecting Results by Item from the Select a Results View drop down menu. To access individual student responses, select the item number. For some assessments, such as the ELA Summative, there may or may not be claim data available based on the blueprint used for that school year. For the ELA Summative Assessment, Aggregate Writing Trait Scores can be accessed by selecting the Writing Trait Scores option from the Select a Results View drop-down menu. There are tabs for the different writing types, such as Argumentative, Explanatory, Informational, Narrative, and Opinion. This data can also be exported by selecting the Export button. For assessments with different domains, such as the Summative LPAC or the CAST, the Composite Scores or Individual Domains can be selected for different data visualizations. Some assessments, such as the CSA, will have only the scale scores. IABs feature an Instructional Resources button that will link to Connections playlists, which connect to groups of lesson plans and resources in Tools for Teachers based on the content assessed by the IAB. After watching this video, you should have a basic understanding of some key features in SIRS and be able to access student results for the CASP and the LPAC. For more information, go to casp.org or lpac.org and select the California Educator Reporting System button. On that SIRS landing page, 
you will find the SIRS user guide and other resources that will help you dive even deeper into the California Educator reporting system. Thank you for watching this demonstration video on understanding SIRS.